So if you want to connect your Strikeback Dominator to your PC or your laptop, this video is definitely for you. I know you guys have seen all of my videos concerning downloading the SFP toolkit on your PC, but before we actually get into the PC, there's something external that we don't really talk about, which we're supposed to talk about. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sheep of Five, and in today's video, I'm going to help you guys to connect the Strike Pack Dominator to the PC or laptop using the SCP Toolkit. But before we actually get into the laptop, the one main thing that I haven't really talked about, or I don't really talk about, and I think that could solve most of you guys' problems, is where you actually plug the cable. So obviously we know the strike pack comes with a pretty, pretty good cable, but that's not the important part. <clears throat> your PC is actually the important part, or your laptop. What I'm talking about is where you plug the cable. For me, I have one, two, and three places to plug the cable in. I don't plug it at the back because I have so many stuff and it's just hotter at the back. When I plug it at the back, you know, the cable bends like this. It will break your cable or make your cable break faster. When I started, I was plugging it on the right hand side and it was okay until I plugged it on the left hand side. So much faster, less input delay. Just try it for your PC or you can search it. I think some ports are faster than the others. Me personally, I didn't search anything. I just literally tried all of them and I felt the difference. So for me, I always plug it here. And one main thing as well is... <sighs> Stop using a USB hub to connect your strike pack dominator to your PC. What I mean by this is plugging this part, pow, into the PC, then plugging your strike pack dominator's cable into this. Stop doing that. It's slower. Instead of your strike pack just communicating exactly to your PC, it has to go through this and drrr. mind you. Mine is very good, but it just feels better when you plug it into. There's no input delay, there's no lag, there's no anything wrong. Anyway, it's just not the best option. So now, let's get into the PC. So guys, what you want to do is go to the description of my video. You click this link, it's going to open up this for you. You just wait for it to load. You press download. Then, you don't press SCP Toolkit Setup EXP, you press download anyway then you just get the download file then click on it to install it again uh, I install it in C drive you can install it wherever you want then you press next next for some of you guys you get uh, this error over here just watch this video to fix it I literally show you guys how to fix it properly and everything you need to download so you guys saw the pop-up everything finished properly make sure your strike pack is plugged in to the pc you see it showed plugged in via usb over here then you click on the driver installer you go for this this since we're using dualshock 4 how you look for the wireless uh, look for the second wireless just make sure then you press install should take a few seconds pow and now it should be working perfectly so yeah let's go in game and show you guys it's working properly in game so here I'm just showing you guys which buttons my paddles are connected to that's basically it. Then I'm going to show you guys how to change from the Xbox layout to the PS4 or PS5. But most of the time we use generic because it's just faster for some reason. Then just a little free build and yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys truly like the video. Like, subscribe and share it with your friends that have the same problem with the strike pack. And if you have a problem connecting your laptop to your 240Hz monitor, just don't forget to go to the description and check out my other videos. Peace.